Here we have verse 29 of the 16th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus is uh, describing to his disciples the sweeping themes that are associated with his incarnation, his soon return to the glory from which he came. And all of that uh, seems to have kind of hit the disciples here with a sort of epiphany, and we see an exclamation from them in that connection in this verse 29 when they say, Alegusen, this third person plural, present active indicative, so they say, present tense, and then the subject of the verb, hoi mathetai, the disciples, uh, the nominative uh, plural of this uh, first declension of masculine noun, so the disciples, out to, the possessive pronoun, third person, genitive, singular, the disciples of him say, ide, uh, derived uh, from edo, which means to see, but it actually functions as an interjection, so look or behold, uh, none, indeclinable adverb, look now, in, a preposition, takes the dative. We have the dative here. This is a noun, actually, parousia. Uh, we would use a, a noun in English, something like openness or plainness or something like that in the dative here. So behold, now in plainness or in openness, lales, this is uh, the uh, second person singular, present active indicative of laleo, I speak. So now in plainness, you speak, singular, kai, paroimion. Uh, this was used earlier in the same context. It means a proverb, an analogy, something like that. Uh, something on the order of a parable, but not uh, nearly as common as the word parabole for parable. So now no longer do you speak uh, parables. And then udamion. This is actually an adjective. You can see it agrees with the noun here. So uh, no parable would be the idea, or no a proverb. Uh, nothing, none of a proverb is the idea. So behold, now you speak in openness and not in a proverbial sort of way. Again, the same uh, verb here as we had back here, la lace. So you're speaking openly as opposed to speaking proverbially is the sense. And you do have some idea that there must have been some kind of uh, moment there that took place collectively among the disciples as somehow or other they now catch a vision of the true uh, meaning of what Jesus has been doing and what's about to happen so that they can make an exclamation uh, described here.